Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here doing another Hasbro action figure review on the NBA starting lineup series one Stephen Curry figure. Now, I'm not into basketball. I don't really know anything about basketball. I just did see the Warriors beat the Utah Jazz uh, just the other day. Uh, for another Thanksgiving event, so that was fun to see, but uh, I'm not really into basketball. However, I love action figures, and I've always wanted to see fully articulated 6.5 inch scale athletic figures, and I thought this was a cool place to start, and I'm very interested in this line. Uh, I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, so I had to start off with the Stephen Curry figure review. Anyway, I really like the packaging over here. It looks cool. It reminds me of the trading cards, and on one side, you get a 3D rendered image of Stephen Curry. On the other side, you can see the Golden State Warriors logo along with the NBA hologram image. On the top, you have a full hologram starting lineup image series one right there, and not much more at the bottom. Before we cut the tape open, I wanted to mention that we got this Slam Presents magazine right over here, which is actually fun to look at. I, I, I like this. I like how it's written. It just seems very fun. I read through it a little bit. I never collected starting lineup, so, you know, a noob like me, it's fun to look through this thing, and yeah, I think it's cool that they have this included, so that's pretty awesome. I like that. But anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open, but I'm going to go ahead and crack it open right over here so we can see what's going on. And, oh yeah, see, it very much reminds me of the trading cards tray a little bit. As soon as I see uh, this right here, he does come with his own trading card and the figures right in there. And it has its own wax paper around it and everything. So, anyway, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. And, uh, ooh, there it is. All right. Cool. Let's get this guy all displayed on the rotating base. <laughs> and here's a Stephen Curry figure out of the packaging. And since the unboxing, I actually watched a couple of interviews. And yeah, a pretty fascinating number of accolades. Holy crap, man. I think the most notable or one of the most common or popular one is highest three-point shots than anybody else in the NBA ever, I think, of all time. I think that's correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, try to get him into three-point shot pose over here that I googled online. Let's get a closer look at the accessories, then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So here's everything that we get with the figure, and honestly, I don't know if this makes it feel like it's worth the price point. Uh, this thing was about 50 bucks. I feel like we could have used a little bit more, like maybe a, a basketball all by itself, or a left hand with the basketball attached as well, because like on the card that it comes with, he's got the basketball on the left hand, and this is just on the right hand right over here. You do get a finger pointing hand for the left side, and then two wide open hands for each side, and then a set of relaxed hands, and then you get the base right over here, which I'm not the biggest fan of. We'll get into that more in a little bit, uh, but just to get a closer look at the trading card, I gotta say I do like it, and I did put it in a top loader. It doesn't come with the top loader, but that sleeve around it is how it arrived and it looks really good and then you can see there's stats and things like that on the back so if you want to read all the info on them then you can go ahead and do it right now and then uh, you can see you know the hands they all have vertical hinges on them so no horizontal hinges which is fine and then yeah the basketball looks pretty good it has wilson written on it and get all kinds of nice texturing so yeah this looks pretty cool you can't rotate it or anything it's just stationary but having a loose basketball would have been pretty neat or or you know the other hand with the basketball basketball attached then yeah you have your starting lineup stand which has two pegs sticking up right over here it's hollow and i'm not the biggest fan of this thing because there's just not a lot of options for posing you know what i mean like if you want him just shooting a three-pointer like he's got to be like way up in the air and everything and by the way when you clamp this onto the figure I feel like it's at risk of doing paint damage to the jersey, which I don't want to do. So I wish they had a clamp right over here. It's just this, I mean, it's a clamp, but it doesn't have a hinge where you could bend it or anything. And there's, uh, you could rotate it, but it does not move up and down. So you get that kind of motion right there and you can't slide anything up and down right over here. So they all have to be in like a layup pose or slam dunk pose. <laughs> So I think the head sculpt mostly looks pretty good. It does look like Stephen Curry. I, I think they could have made his eyes brighter. Like he has distinctive eyes and I don't think that's coming through with the figure too well. Maybe if I tilt the head back, you could see the color of the eyes a little bit more. But that's one thing I noticed about him is that he has really bright eyes. I don't know if it really captures his likeness. Maybe looking ahead on it does a little bit more so. There, I don't know. It, it kind of looks like him, I guess. 
let me know what you guys think. You're more familiar with this face probably than I am. Uh, but yeah, looks pretty good, you know, for the most part. I think they did a good job. I like how the fade looks right over there. And then the paint apps for the jersey look pretty solid. Nice looking deco and everything. You have a Nike logo right there. Golden State Warriors is number 30. There's no tattoos. Uh, he's supposed to have a tattoo. I mean, he has tattoos, and I don't think any of them have their tattoos. I think that was one thing that a lot of people talked about. Uh, you can see the NBA logo, and yeah, I mean, at least the paint apps came out clean that we're seeing over here, but yeah, I think, you know, not having the tattoos is kind of a loss. That would have made it feel like it was closer to the price point, you know? I don't know. That's just such a huge thing to miss out on. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I don't know how outraged people are going to be over that. I would assume like a lot of people would be kind of pissed, but, uh, yeah, a lot of nice clean white paint over there and the yellow paint is pretty solid. The material is fairly flexible over here on the shorts and on the Jersey itself. I wish it was a little bit more flexible. You know, it is still a little on the firm side and the shorts are a more solid plastic right over there. And at least like the colors look pretty consistent throughout. And you have the white wrap around right over here. Pinless joints throughout. Sneakers look pretty good. Uh, you sneaker heads, you're, you're going to know better than me. But they seem like, you know, sneakers I've seen before. They could be them. Looks like it's them. It has some nice paint detail on it and everything. So, yeah. yeah the socks have a little bit of stripe action painted on the back. And then you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So I'm disappointed with the neck articulation on this figure. You do get head and neck articulation. But there's no hinge. So uh, I'm, I'm scared that none of these are going to be able to look up more than that. You know what I mean? That's kind of, I don't know, that's not as much range of movement that as I would hope. Especially because I have to look up at a basketball hoop and throw balls at it. Or through it uh you can't get them to look down just a, it's just this lower neck joint right here it's a ball joint with a ball joint and it's just allowing you to look down that much so the head movement range is is pretty weak as far as moving up and down you can turn it side to side and it can pivot okay you know it's not an extreme amount of pivoting over there it's decent but yeah i'm mostly disappointed with that up and down movement they have over here wish we had a neck hinge you do get butterfly joints shoulders will move up and above the 90 degree mark can move them down rotate a full 360 bicep swivel double jointed elbows bend in all the way and then the wrists they all turn side to side hinge up and down you get an ab crunch in there inside that jersey so you can crunch forward that much and back that much but you also get a ball joint right over here so with both of those joints being used you can see it'll crunch forward that much and with both of those joints being used move back that much with the ball joint at the waist moving side to side you get pivoting right there as well hips move outward that much and he'll kick forward that far i wish you could move up a little bit more than that back and then there is a little bit of wobbling up in there uh, but you do get solid thigh cuts right here hidden underneath the shorts and then you get the double jointed knees and then the ankles do turn side to side right here at the socks which i think is a nice added point of articulation the ankles will move down and for having shoes they do move up pretty well and there's beautiful ankle pivot now to measure this Steph Curry figure, you can see that it is standing just a little over six inches tall. And for size comparison, next to a bunch of other Hasbro franchise figures, we have our Disney with the Moon Knight, Star Wars with the Luke Skywalker, G.I. Joe with the Sergeant Stalker, and Power Rangers with the recently departed Jason David Frank Green Ranger, which I have been very sad about since his passing. I think we all have been, right? But holy crap, I got to meet him once. And it was a very memorable experience. He was incredible. And yeah, that, that's a tough one. Rest in peace, Jason David Frank. And then here's Stephen Curry next to a couple suited Marvel Legends figures. We have the Chameleon and we have the young Nick Fury. I haven't tried popping the head off over here, but I'm going to go for it. See if I can. Oh, it does pop off. All right. Which one should we go with first? Let's see if. Oh, it looks like the ball peg is not going to fit on this one. Uh, you'd have to use sticky tack or something to get that on there, and it sits a little high. Let's see how it would work with the uh, Samuel L. Jackson body. And that, oh, God, uh, it doesn't pour it on there either. You would need sticky tack. But I guess it, no, it, his head looks too small for this body, I think, right? That looks a little bit weird. So looks more in proportion with this body right over here. But, yeah, I can't really get that 
on that ball peg. The ball peg inside the head right over here is just a bit too small. Really close though, very close. And then here's Stephen Curry next to the only other articulated, fully articulated sports figures that I have. And yeah, I picked these up many years ago out of curiosity. I, I wanted to see what was going on. So I picked up two. I have Patrick Willis over here and Colin Kaepernick. And then here's a Stephen Curry figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, Stephen Curry. You know, is it Stephen Curry or is it Stephen? Is it Steppin? Because it's got a P and an H. Steppin? Steppin? Or is it Steven? Or it's probably Steffen, right? Or is it Steppin? It could be ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here and you want to see some Marvel Legends reviews, amongst some other stuff, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And I had a lot of fun with this figure. I enjoyed posing it around. I get interested with new franchises and things that I've been wanting to see for a long time. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've always wanted to see something like this happen. Kind of like the G.I. Joe Classified series. If you wanted me to name 10 G.I. Joe characters right off the top of my head, it would probably take me 12 days. You know what I mean? Like, I, but And I can't name very many basketball players myself. But as an action figure fan, as an action figure collector, this is something that I thought would be cool to see. And I'm seeing it right over here. And I had a lot of fun with it. I liked it. Just my biggest qualm with it is the price point. I feel like the high price is really going towards, you know, the NBA and Nike and, and Wilson and everybody that has their name slapped onto this thing one way or another. And probably, of course, the likeness of Stephen Curry, which I don't mind at all because it's a Stephen Curry figure. Like, yeah, there should be licensing money going towards him, right? So that doesn't really bother me. And the NBA too, but like the sponsors, you know, I don't know. I also was missing tattoos and the neck articulation bothers me. So at the price point of around 50 bucks, I'm gonna give this Stephen Curry figure a sud rating of. I'll wait for the Black Friday sale. And I'd like to know what you guys think. Now, my opinion is just my opinion as someone who's not a fan of basketball. If you're a hardcore basketball fan or a hardcore Stephen Curry fan, and you love action figures, I could see you'd easily jump on this. But anyway, I digest. Uh, I want to know what you guys think about the figure. Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewsi.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot. I will be having an auction sale this Thursday, December 1st, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if not, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.